seems like a lot of money to me, but that's what they're doing, and, and we're supposed to come up with ideas. And, and I just think, you know, if you go to the counties, the counties is where it's all at. You know, we have to be conservative because we don't have any money, and, and we just have to do things within our limits. Now, our, our, um, our fair doesn't quite break even, but I think we're at about 20000 um, in the hole we were. That's not very much. I mean, that's what we got in the hole, but that's what we subsidized us. So we, we feel pretty good about that up there. That's not even charging. So. Anyway, does anybody have any questions? Luann, do you think it was easier being able to get the $2.4 million spent after the sh sticker shock of the 29? Um, no, I think it was harder. <laughs> this is why, because I had that CIP committee. I mean, they came into the public meetings and they were just so mad. We can't believe how mad they were that we would, we, they had been involved in spending $55,000 on this plan and we wouldn't implement this plan and now we were going with something that wasn't, I mean, we just used our staff really to come up with the building. Well, we used Nucor, you know, to, to help design, actually the full craft, to help design, so everything was engineered in that, but we just didn't do, and, and it's populous is who it is, and that's the same one that, that they spent all that money on at the state fair to tell about the plan. And they're out of Iowa, and they're great, but the, the plan was like Disneyland, and, you know, we're just not that big. We don't have enough motel rooms or, or infrastructure to, We'd be years before we could do that. And the building that was in question, the one that Fine Arts building, it would have been, what, 10, 15 years before we ever could do it. And their, their barn to do it and the luxurious things that they had in the beef farm was $5.2 million. It was just absolutely ridiculous. And I just knew we, we couldn't do that. And I wasn't going to bond on the fairgrounds. It just didn't make sense. But I think it was harder just because we had that public do not have a CIP committee. We're the only ones in the state that have one. And before I left, that was my last item on the agenda was to um, not reappoint that <laughs> board. I thought, what can they do to me? <laughs> 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 yeah. So anyway, that's what I did. <laughs> but um, I, I just want you to know that um, USIP has been a friend of us and they really really helped us evaluate the risk management problems that we did have at our fairgrounds. We've done, I don't know how many walkthroughs. And, and some of these that we've done previously, like in our small animal barn, well, I have to tell you this story. This is not a very good story, but we, you know, I have a cattle ranch and I ride horses and so does my whole family. And New Year's Eve, we rent the, the small arena and we ride. That's what we do for New Year's Eve. So guess what happens this year? A little boy falls through the bleachers and hits. Guess whose grandson that was? Mine. So I immediately saw a problem there and then we took care of those bleachers and made them so that they were safe. But that's sort of how things happen is when you, know, you see that somebody gets hurt and you um, then you, you do something about that. I probably didn't tell you about that either. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but it's safe now. Mm -hmm. You should do a walk through with that. But these old fairgrounds, you know, I'm sure you guys all can relate to them. You know, as you get a little bit of money, you stick them into it. And it's, the commissioners sometimes aren't really good at letting go of some money to fix up these, these uh, these old buildings and old fairgrounds, and I think that's what the state fair is looking at, is a lot of infrastructure problems. So. Anyway, yes? The money you mentioned about to save an old barn, was that there in Box Hill County, or was that the state fair? The, the, are you talking about the 2.5 million? Yeah, to build a shell. That's, yeah. that's yeah, you, if you look on, um, is it North Temple? Mm -hmm. That it's on? Okay, there's, there's three where they put the livestock, they call them the livestock barn. If you look at those old barns there, they're really neat. They're, they're old brick barns, kind of similar to what ours were. And so, anyway, they are not safe. And the governor has some emergency money, or I'm not sure exactly what you call it, but he designated 2.5 million 
to what they'll do is they'll have a shell, and DFCM was charged to have those shells done by the time the fair rolls around in September to make it safe. So, so check it out when you go to the state fair, and hopefully, if you have some ideas for the state fair, what would you like to hear from me? Because now that I'm in charge, I'm looking at the state fair in a whole different light. Do you have some ideas? Yeah, don't spend two point five million dollars on an old bar. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to the governor about that. Those are okay. on the historic register. You know how yeah. precious that is. Uh, that's that's where it gets into dicey, I guess. But uh, yeah, I'm with you. It would have been much cheaper to to do to do what we did and more functional. And now our our facilities are year round. I I do think they store some boats. <laughs> That's the thing is they store boats and all this stuff. We used to do that too until, um, did we hit it? What did we do, Johnny? We had claims on that. Did we hit a boat or, do you remember, Jan? I think it was before your time, but I think we hit a boat. Yeah, you had damage to it. Yeah, to some you had damage to it. That doesn't go good on your insurance. So um, Johnny said we couldn't do that anymore. And when I went to the state, there's they're so excited, the legislature, about how they store all these boats and these, these uh, RVs at, at the state fair. Been there, done that one. But anyway, it's a pleasure to be back here with the counties. I, I love county government. I think you're the best, and I wish you the best. And I'm hoping to get around to visit a lot of your fairs. So if you get back with me, um, you know, I'm just at the Department of Agriculture. I'd love to come and, and visit your fairs. And, you know, as the Department of Agriculture, I think that's what we should do. So.